Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. In the last video, we did a demonstration on how to use Affinity Photos Depth of Field Blur tool to add realistic background blur in your shots. In today's video, we will be examining yet another bokeh editing app, which happens to be one of the most popular photography apps in the Apple App Store, and it's called Focus. As you can see here, it has over 49,000 ratings with an average number rating of 4.7, which are pretty stellar numbers in the world of apps. We're going to see whether there is any value in using focus in your own photographs. And at the end of the video, we will also do a comparison with Affinity Photos depth of field blur filter to find out which is the best app for adding realistic smooth bokeh. So let's get right into this. First, let's run through the main features of the focus app. Focus claims to allow you to take photos with shallow depth of field without manually painting or making selections. For our case though, we are going to be using focus to perform photo editing rather than using it as a camera. The AI engine can calculate the depth of field automatically for all photos. So it is an AI based tool. It can simulate large apertures to create real bokeh effects normally only possible with DSLR cameras and expensive lenses. It is pretty expensive though and the price has risen in the past few years. Currently it costs $5.99 a week or $99 a year. Alright so let's run through how to use the Focus app which is an app which works for both iPhone and iPad. I'll be using the iPad though as I'm using focus more as a photo editor instead of as a camera which can take portrait mode. Using focus just takes three steps. First, open the photo. Second, move the aperture slider to your desired level of blur. Third, tap on the area to focus. That's it. Focus uses its AI smarts to create a 3D depth map from this 2D image and apply the blur in a very realistic way. As you can see, changing focus is pretty fast and smooth. You can also change the qualities of the bokeh by adjusting a highlights and vivid slider. And the effect looks pretty natural to my eyes and visibly improve image quality. Focus also allows you to change the bokeh circle to some other shape. So those are basically focus essential features. It does offer other capabilities like the ability to edit the depth of field, change lenses to produce varying bokeh effects and other types of editing. But I found most of it was either too complicated to use on a mobile device or didn't really move the needle in terms of image quality. So the features I've shown you are really the reasons you would get focus. So now that we've seen how focus works, let's now do a slideshow comparison with the results from Affinity Photos depth of field blur filter to see which one is the bokeh editing champion. So I hope you enjoyed that slideshow. As you can see, both apps produce wonderful background blur, but I do think there is a winner. So which one did I prefer as the app to use for making bokeh? 
Well, after a close inspection, I would say that Focus is the better bokeh editing app for three reasons. First, the bokeh to my eyes was a little bit more convincing than Affinities. For example, in this particular scene, you can see the bokeh circle created from the sun was a nice touch, which Affinity Photo's depth of field blur could not match. Second, I found that Affinity Photo's depth of field blur, when increased to very high levels, tended to produce halos, which I did not see from focus. So this is something I think is an issue with Affinity Photo's blurring in general, that it produces more halos than some other apps, which also have similar lens blur capabilities. So I hope this is something that Affinity Photo does fix. The third reason I would use Focus is the experience of creating the bokeh was so much more effortless and takes a fraction of the time when compared to creating the bokeh with Affinity Photo's depth of field blur filter, which I already think is the most efficient way of creating the blur with Affinity. That being said, is there any reason to use Affinity Photo over Focus? Definitely. Focus relies on AI to make its depth map, and I found that it does make mistakes. For example, in this photo, you can see that Focus had some areas around the edges which were not properly blurred out. This could also, however, be edited with Affinity Photo. Another case is this photo right here. Focus had the body of this dog blurred when I think it should have been in focus. With Affinity's depth of field blur filter, it's easier to precisely control the area covered by the depth of field. In focus, it's much harder to do as you're dealing with a mobile app. And I find that if your device is not fast enough, it did tend to lag and crash and do sorts of weird things. So if you have to do editing on your bokeh, I would use Affinity Photo as my tool of choice. So there you have it. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments if you use the Focus app or what is your favorite app for adding bokeh to your shots. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.